I'll show you now how to auto tune, for example, a Z axis with the Delta B3 servo drives. It will basically be the same procedure as with the A3. Mm -hmm. You zoom in the screen, you basically go here. Very simple to auto tuning. Back to pick command from drive because I'm going to do it directly from the computer, not through some kind of third party device. <laughs> Emergency brake, etc. Turn the servo on. You write these settings, it's basically what you're going to tune. First you have to put your start and stop position. So, because I only set it to 20 RPMs, a bit slow. You put it at 200 RPM. It goes a bit quicker. This is like the start position. So you pick a start position, so we say position one. You go to the other position. I like to put some space in between. As you can see, the Z axis is moving down. I find there's a nice position. Let me go back. Go here. It's a position two. Um, you can verify the movement by pressing the button, start movement, and there you go. You see back. It moves up and down with the RPM reset. So you can double check if there's any movement issues and there are not I will increase the speed this thing can do 5000 rpm and I'm going to put it on 3000 and press download and press stop moving and start moving it will start moving much quicker this is 3000 rpm so with my gearing there's about 12 meters per minute my z axis weighs about 25 kilos so now we're ready to go to the next step. Press next, make sure keep safe distance. Here you can see the auto tuning procedure. Here you can see the current overshoot is the PEU, so 2426 pulse units. The motor current is maximum at 360%, and we just stand it for this device. And now it takes about 250 milliseconds to uh, stabilize. This takes about two or three minutes. So you press the OK button. It will give you all the information it changed and you can update it in the drive directly. Response level, what it was before, because I already auto-tuned it. So you see these um, numbers have been slightly changed. And now you press update, which just updates the whole drive. And if you go back to auto-tuning. Oh no, I don't want to do this. I want to go to the screen. Probably is gain tuning. You can see all the settings, the inertia ratio, it's estimated the in drive. Well, it takes a bit to update this, but here you can see all the settings. And you can actually do hand calculation if you want, but this is all from the auto tuning. You can see the filters are pretty much uh, set at off. You can put this basically on automatic, then it will automatically sample all the time to figure out if you have any resonance in the system and then automatically filter it out so the resonance is not amplified by the server. But that's how you auto-tune using the Delta B3 and A3 server drives, as you can see. Super easy compared to something like JMC. This is a world of difference and that only for about 50 bucks extra or 100 bucks extra. So if you're interested in Delta B3 drives, from time to time I have them in stock, it's about three 60 a set, including 10 meters of cables, uh, the servo motor, the servo drive, uh, all directly from the factory in Taiwan. So, see you next time.